If you are a long-time Photoshop user, you probably already know what selection tool you need to use at just a glance. But what if you're just a novice? Or a little unexperienced? Don't worry, because in this video, I will teach you what selection tool is best to use, and when it is best to use. There are many types of tools in Photoshop to select subject. And each one has its advantages and disadvantages. Choosing the right one will surely make your task easier and faster. So let's start with the easiest to use as a starting point. Select subject tool can be found inside properties panel. In just one click. Boom. You now have an instant selection around the subject. This tool uses artificial intelligence called Adobe Sensei and automatically finds the most prominent objects in the image and selects them. But like most of the selection tools, it isn't perfect most of the time so you will need to fix the selection manually. It's a good starting point though. Object selection tool can be found in the left side panel along with magic wand and quick selection tool. There are two different options for tracing around a subject or object, rectangle and lasso. Unlike select subject tool which looks at the entire image and tries to identify the subject automatically, the object selection tool lets you identify the subject yourself just by drawing a rough selection around it. But it's not always perfect. But just like any other selection mode in Photoshop, object selection allows you to refine your selection by holding the shift key to add, or the alt key to subtract parts of your selection using the same neural engine. Object selection tool just like select subject tool in my opinion are both useful as starting point. But object selection tool is much much more useful because you can easily fix its inaccurate selections using just alt and shift keys like this. So I suggest to always use first object selection tool as starting point, and then just use lasso or pen tool to refine it. We'll discuss about the lasso and pen tool later. Magic Wand is one of the oldest selection tools in Photoshop. Unlike other selection tools that select pixels in an image based on shapes or by detecting object edges, the magic wand selects pixels based on tone and color. Based on tone and color. What do I mean, you might ask? Well if you are working with images that has very few colors in it. This is the best selection tool to use. Let's try it so you'll see what I mean. Here we have a photo that mostly consists of just four colors. I want to select the word stop, which is color red. Obviously, select subject tool won't work here. How about object selection tool? It's been selected somehow, but it also selected some unwanted parts. Now let's try using the magic wand. 
easy. Magic Wand is color-sensitive type selection tool. It is very effective with images that has few colors. That's why it's the best selection tool if you're working with illustrated graphics or designs. Here's one more example of how useful Magic Wand is for illustrated designs. I have an illustration of Spider-Man here. By checking contiguous here, you can select the red part one by one. I think Magic Wand is the only selection tool that can do this. If you want to select all the red parts at once, then just uncheck contiguous again. So remember when it comes to illustrated graphics like this. Magic Wand is the superior selection tool. The quick selection tool is found in the left side panel together with Magic Wand and Object Selection Tool. This selection tool is edge sensitive. Earlier we talked about Magic Wand which is color sensitive. This time, it's edge sensitive. This is one of my most used selection tool because of its accuracy. You can use the quick selection tool to quickly paint a selection using an adjustable round brush tip. As you drag, the selection expands outward and automatically finds and follows defined edges in the image. The marquee tool is the most basic of selection tools and often the one most useful. To form the selection, simply click and drag the mouse. This tool is used to draw selections based on rectangular and elliptical shapes. So if the subject is rounded or square, use it. Lasso tool lets you draw a selection. It is a freehand form selection tool where you will manually draw the shape of the selection. The lasso tools allow you to select precise areas of an image by drawing or tracing the selection outline. Earlier I showed you how inaccurate is the selection sometimes. If you want to quickly make your selections more precise, you can use this tool. If you hold the Alt key, a subtract symbol will appear. Meaning we can subtract excess selected areas like this. And if you want to add selection like for this instance here. Hold Shift key, and a plus symbol will appear, meaning we're able to add selection now, like this. The pen tool creates paths which can be manipulated to create complex selections. If you want to be very precise with your selection, the pen tool is the right one to use. This tool is a little bit challenging to use at first but if you're seriously considering to make a career in Photoshop, you must know how to use this. Pen tool is precise in making selections, but using this for the whole process of selecting subject, is not a good idea, because it's so time consuming. Even for an experienced one like me. So use it wisely. Don't ever use pen tool in subjects with so many curves like plants or flowers. Pen tool is great when used in subjects with straight and slight curves like this car for example.
because if you're going to use other selection tools here like object selection tool, you'll probably be spending more time correcting the selections. Well when in pen tool, it's pretty a straightforward process. Plus it will give you smooth, precise, and a clean cut. So remember when a subject consists of straight and slight curves. Pen tool is the best.